Hello and welcome to Force 13's forecast for the upcoming Northern Hemisphere cyclone seasons around the world. It's the first forecast that we put out, typically in the beginning of April, in the first days of the month. Uh, our next forecast after this, if there are any changes to make, will be at the end of May, on the eve of Atlantic hurricane season, on May 31st. In the Western Pacific, we are expecting a fairly average season, 27 tropical storms, which is the general average, uh, 15 typhoons and 9 major typhoons in 2020. The chances of a below average season are very low, at 11%, uh, the chances of near average rather high at 56%, and above average is at 33%. Um, moving on to the Western Pacific, a uh, rather interesting array of tracks here and uh, the main point really is a high chance of significant typhoon impacts in western Japan and over to central Japan. So the Japanese islands look like they're going to get some significant typhoon impacts this year, possibly more than what we saw last year, believe it or not. Um, also a high chance of significant typhoon impacts in the uh, northern tip of Taiwan and also the extreme southern part of Taiwan. Central part not so much, but on either side we could get two channels of typhoons, the northern ones coming in from a further easterly direction, the ones in the south recurving up from the Philippines uh, from Luzon towards Taiwan and could be significant major typhoons. Um, the Philippines itself, uh, Luzon is the uh, typhoon hotspot of the world, um, cyclone hotspot of the world. So, as expected, we are expecting more significant typhoon impacts there. It's extremely rare that a year doesn't produce one for the island of Luzon in the Philippines. Um, we are also looking at the possibility of significant typhoons in the South China Sea. It's uh, not explicitly marked on the map, but it is certainly a possibility. Um, and also, uh, rather interestingly, a high chance of seeing a typhoon this year in the top 0.5% of all typhoons. Now that means a typhoon of 195 miles an hour or greater, we're indicating a high chance that we might see one out at sea in the Philippine Sea this year. Uh, usually those extremely powerful typhoons don't affect land at full intensity. One notable exception, Haiyan, we're not expecting anything like that, particularly because the southernmost parts of the Philippines were not expecting significant impacts this year. Um, average conditions expected in southern China, in Hong Kong, in Vietnam, in Macau, uh, all of those areas were looking at average conditions. And we're expecting lower than normal chances of impacts in eastern China and also in the southern, as I said, southern Visayas and in Mindanao in the Philippines. We expect the uh, peak of this year will be in September, um, closely followed by August in the Western Pacific this year. As you can see, a rather shaded in map, uh, a lot of areas that will expect to see tropical storm conditions. This is normal, it happens every year, um, but any places to point out there? I suppose South Korea you might want to take particular notice of there and extending into northern Japan could see tropical storm conditions. So really favouring a higher latitude than usual this time around in 2020. So looking at typhoon conditions, um, you can see the Philippines, obviously Japan, southern Japan, uh, particularly Shikoku and one or two areas of Honshu uh, also with a high chance. Um, you'll also notice that Tokyo is particularly shaded in as well. Again, that is because those islands extending all the way down to Iwo Jima are considered to be part of Tokyo and they get hit every year. So I wouldn't read too much into Tokyo, uh, just look at the areas around it. But again, you could see as far north as Hokkaido could still get typhoon conditions with a moderate chance. Um, so that's something else to watch out for. Now looking towards China, the southern part of China around Hong Kong could get, probably will get a typhoon landfall. Uh, it's a very high chance of that happening. The Ryukyu Islands are extremely likely, over 87% chance. Um, and the Philippines coming in second, uh, or third actually, uh, the central part of Luzon and the northeastern tip which is particularly susceptible. And finally, major typhoon conditions, that's category 3 or higher, you'll notice that there's much more confidence in the Western Pacific than elsewhere. 
and the highest chance on this map um, is actually in the central part of Luzon in the Philippines or southern Luzon actually um, areas near Naga with the highest chances of major typhoon conditions and Catanduanes um, and also for central parts of Luzon along the east coast. Following that uh, you're looking at Taiwan, uh, northern and central parts of Taiwan um, and actually southern Taiwan is the most likely and the Ryukyu Islands of Japan and the Itsu Islands of Japan as well also have the highest chances of major typhoon conditions. Also significant chances of it happening in the northern Mariana Islands. You'll probably see some developing typhoons there this year which will go on to become majors and probably supers as they proceed towards the northwest as we see in many years. So that is the main bulk of our analysis, our expectations over the coming year. They are just predictions, they can change and they can of course not be correct. But like with predictions that we've been doing for the last four or five years now, they've not been too far away from the mark. It's looking likely that 2019 is actually a very good analogue for 2020, so it's more than likely that we'll probably see similar conditions to what we saw last year around the world.